Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Earth Science. Yesterday we finished discussing the igneous rock textures. We're going to finish with the last characteristic called color. Igneous rocks are classified based on only four colors. Mafic, or let me go in order, ultramafic, mafic, intermediate, and felsic. Below is a table with, the, with examples of each one of these igneous rock colors. Let's address them. Again, I want to start with ultramafic. Ultramafic indicates, well, if you look at this table, your x and y axes, right? Your um, y axis indicates the, or the column, first column indicates the type of color, and the first row indicates type of, or the, the column headers indicating type of color, darkness, percentage of minerals, composition, and example. So ultramafic as a color indicates that nearly 100% of the rock is dark colored minerals. This indicates the following. It's full of very dark minerals. These are your rocks that lack light colored minerals. It doesn't mean that they are just black though. It means that they are lacking any light colored elements. So by and large, as an example you'd see here, you see some purples and some greens, some dark greens, possibly blacks. That's the color you would find. No light colored minerals. And again, nearly 100%. Mafic would be the next phase down in color. Greater than 40%, but it could go all the way up to 100 but at least greater than 40% dark colored minerals. There is no quartz or potassium feldspar. This is the pink colored mineral, also known as orthoclase. Okay? These two are not found in mafic rocks. These are your dark green, brown, red, gray, and black igneous rocks. It can have some light color to it, just not quartz or potassium feldspar. Oftentimes it is known as plagioclase, a white colored bar like mineral found inside of um, mafic rocks. These are your standard basalt rocks that you'd find um, near volcanic activity on the surface. Third one is intermediate. Intermediate has between 15 and 40 percent dark colored minerals. So it, it's between a dark and light color. There is more plagioclase feldspar. These are your grayish igneous rocks. They look like a salt and pepper rock. They've got quartz and plagioclases in them and dark colored minerals which would be your biotites and hornblendes. And then last, felsic. Felsic has less than 15% dark colored minerals. Very light in color. A bunch of quartz, a bunch of potassium feldspars, and I would also add a bunch of orthoclase, or excuse me, or emphasize orthoclase, because these are pink minerals. A very good indicator of this would be your standard granite. Your dark, or excuse me, your, your whites, your clears, your pinks, yellows, those are your felsic colored rocks with an example here. This one doesn't has no orthoclase in it. Oftentimes it does. Okay, look at this, um, this right here. This is a really good chart. You need to be able to, um, if it will open up for me. This chart here that's behind it shows the different colors um, that you would find inside uh, those different colors. For example, felsic or your uh, your felsic um, color 
contains ortho place, which is your oranges. Quartz obviously is not orange. This is actually it's a dark orange. Quartz would be your um, obviously again color here does not match the color uh, of the mineral, but indicates the type of mineral found. So ortho place, uh, by and large, a good chunk of that color is found. Quartz, by and large, plagioclase increases as you get closer and closer to intermediate, with some smaller uh, phases of dark colored minerals here. This is at less than 15% range. Okay, Intermediate, it starts to, to phase out the pink orthoclases and still has quartz but it phases out at about halfway through. By and large bulk plagioclase which is a white colored mineral and micas and amphiboles make up your dark colored minerals hence 15 to 40 percent. And then here in Mafic notice how Quartz and orthoclase stop here. That's why you cannot find them in mafic rocks. Well, you're also known as basaltic for the composition, andesitic for intermediate, and granitic for fel for your felsic color. So comp composition is tied with that. Back here, plagioclase, which is your white colored mineral, can be found inside of mafic rock, as I mentioned. By and large, it's pyroxene, which is a black colored mineral, with these other black or dark colored minerals phasing out. And then some green olivine, which is uh, that color I mentioned, you'd find an ultramafic found here as well. And then ultramafic is either black or a combination of black and green, by and large, w almost without question. And then this shows down here some textures related to the colors and the names of the rocks under each category here. So mafic would be gabbro, basalt or basaltic tuff or scoria depending on the texture and likewise with intermediate rocks and with felsic colored rocks. Utilize this table to help you understand this. It's very helpful. Okay ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the notes. Your job is to do the following now. To take this quiz, finish answering all, all 7, 8, or 10, however many here are submit and it'll give you a grade. You'll take that score and add it to your um, your group that you will get together and you will organize your Ignis Rock Kits into these four different colors. That is your job to do. You'll take these out of seven, combine it with the seven or eight uh, found here in the quiz as a total summing, I believe, out of 15. It's either 14 or 15. So two scores, quiz plus identifying the four different colors of igneous rocks out of your rock kits. Then you'll have your total score. This will be your lab. So for those who are absent and hearing this, your job is to do the quiz online, show me the score, come in on a Friday, or a designated time agreed with me to separate and identify the seven different rock samples into their colors. And that will be your lab grade for the day. All right, thanks everybody, appreciate it.